Right, we're going to test the 0 to 10 volt uh, control range on a Philips Advanced Mark 7 0 to 10 volt IZT 2PSP32 SC and shout out to Mr. Jack Yap and California Electrical Training for uh, giving us these ballasts to use today. We uh, also are using a sunset uh, slide dimmer uh, that's not connected yet. Also shout out to California Electrical Training for uh, taking this out of one of their training programs and donating it to us today. Uh, first thing we're going to do is check the open wire voltage on the, uh, the, the uh, sorry, first thing we're going to do is check the current generator inside the ballast and I've got about 200 milliamps just shy of uh, I'm sorry microamps I'm just shy of 200 microamps and so that is telling me that if I stack five of these uh, 0 to 10 volt ballasts uh, in a space and uh, parallel their current leads the gray and the violet I'm going to be seeing about uh, 1 milliamp so you need to see what your control is capable of syncing. I've got a 13 and a quarter volt uh, open wire voltage. Now this is different than the last one of these I checked. Uh, so this is probably a newer ballast. They probably made some changes. Uh, but this one should be fairly fresh. Now we're going to go and look at our control voltage with the dimmer all the way up. I see 1.92 and I didn't see my light meter twitch so we're going to start at 240 and we're going to bring down uh, the control voltage to try and find uh, where our first top end dimming occurs so let's start bringing it down bringing it down feeling it out there is some by the way there is some delay built into the ballast for the uh, dimming so you have to pick around kind of carefully uh, here we go oh, 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 oh. at 10.75 we're still all the way up at 9.9 .9, we're still all the way up uh, at 8.95 or about 9 volts we're still all the way up okay here we go I think that we're seeing wow it's really twitchy as usual okay there's just 9.92 9.5 or so still all the way up uh, 8.6 maybe that's about the top end let me drop it just a hair yeah somewhere around 8.3 it's definitely dimmed uh, touchy touchy eight and a quarter definitely dimmed a little 8.4 definitely dimmed a little 8.6 all the way up I'm gonna call it 8.5 volts would be the 0 to 10 volt uh, control voltage where this thing starts to dim down so we're gonna check it at 8 volts 7 volts 6 volts 5 4 3 2 and 1 if we can get under and in fact we'll leave some numbers open on the low end and see how this goes so let's bring it down to 8 volts of control voltage and I've got that's 8 volts right there I've got 223 reading on my foot candle meter I'm going to take it down to 7 volts and I've got come on twitchy little thing alright there we go I've got about 200 foot candles even it's gonna bring it down to six now if you're doing this on site uh, you may not even know what's inside the 0 to 10 volt luminaires but this is characterizing them I got 173 ish at six volts at 5 we've got about 148 
at four we've got about uh, give me a four at four we've got about 112 and at three we've got about 82 and at two we've got about all right, I'm still seeing dimming action as I approach two. Uh, I've got about 45. Somewhere here we should we should be about to hit the bottom end of dimming. So let's see. Nope, still getting some dimming. At one point. All right. I think I've hit my. Well, nope. We'll take a 1.5, and I'm reading about 25 foot candles. Somewhere we should bump into the bottom end here. And yikes, let's make it one and a quarter. Really? Okay, it's getting a little, getting a little hysteresis-y there. But a one and a quarter, I've got nine. And taking it down to one. Uh, I've got about eight. So your bottom end is basically a little bit above one volts, like one and a quarter, nine, eight. Uh, that's nothing anybody's going to see. I'll take it down to its minimum. Right, no more dimming at three quarters of a volt. So I would uh, go back and pick up, try and pick out that bottom end again. And let's see when it starts to dim up. Yeah, one and a quarter. One and a quarter is uh, basically where it has nailed on the bottom end. So we're going to graph these results using Excel because I can't find my graph paper. And we'll examine the response of this ballast. It's important that you know at what end of the range of 0 to 10 volts the thing is maxed out and won't go any higher and the same thing for the bottom when it's dimmed all the way. This is an American ballast so it is not going to want to dim too off. Okay, let's analyze the data from this uh, Philips Advance Mark 7 0 to 10 volt dimming ballast IZT 2PSP 32 SC. It's definitely different than the first one I looked at. Now this one says revision B on the uh, sticker, and it's practically a straight line between 8.5 and 1.5 volts. That's uh, even with our crude little uh, analysis that we're doing today, that is pretty freaking good, which makes this thing suitable for uh, open loop daylighting because we just have sunlight in and a number out. So this is very linear looking. Well, let's look at our points of interest that we might have. Uh, one of them being 80% or so for demand response condition. And I'd like to have a shout out and thank you to Mr. Todd Rundgren, penultimate rock star, one of the best for giving us these Crayola products that we're using to mark up our diagram. Um, he is the best and thanks Mr. Rundgren. So there's 80 percent and then once again we're interested at 20 to 25 percent for the bottom end of daylighting. So let's just kind of put that in there and mark that kind of like this ish 
for our bottom of our daylighting stuff. All right, and you can practically use a straight line approximation between these two points to set up a controller between here at about eight and a half volts and here at about one and a half volts. Um, excellent. Absolutely excellent. So that is the response curve approximately for a Mark 7 a 0 to 10 volt advanced Phillips dimming ballast. So we have for about an 80% demand response level a voltage of somewhere around 6.75 volts and for uh, bottom end of daylighting somewhere between uh, oh 2.2 and 2 volts to ensure that you have driven the lighting down to get your uh, 75 to 80 percent illumination reduction